Hey guys, welcome back. This is Pep and you're watching The Sentinel. Uh, today I am going to be doing a review of a fragrance that I've wanted to review for a long time. This has been consistently probably in my top five fragrances for the last 12 months. It's from the House of Diptyque and this is the original 34 Boulevard Saint Germain. So a little bit of history with this fragrance in 2011 Diptyque uh, to commemorate the, the 50th anniversary of the house um, released this fragrance 34 Boulevard Saint Germain is the address of their flagship store in Paris. I think the brief for this fragrance was that it, it was it was meant to capture quite um, basically the smell of that of that place um, you can imagine all those perfumes um, in there combined with the candles and probably the furniture and the furnishings um, and just try and capture that that essence um, of 34 Boulevard Saint Germain the risk associated with doing something like this is that it could just have been such a glorious mess of too many notes and there are quite a few officially listed notes here uh, in this fragrance but the beauty of this is that um, the perfumer blended this this composition so well that it's basically come out as um, a really lovely what i would describe as a woody balsamic floral now as as this fragrance opens up i'll just spray some on me now but before we get on to the actual smell i just want to um let you know that this bottle um it's basically designed the design is based on a candle a diptyque candle and you can see the little sprayer tube is actually designed to look like a candle wick so spraying some on So the opening here is mainly to me, a, you do get a combination straight away of resins, um, woody notes, There's, there are florals immediately, but the one thing that kind of stands out for me in the opening is that there is this green fig leaf note that's that's quite noticeable um and it, and it tends to stand out more than the other individual notes but because all those other things are there uh you know sometimes i can find fig leaf quite overbearing or screechy um and in this opening it just works to lighten everything up i don't get many uh, i don't get much spice or citrus notes in the opening um as as listed here but nevertheless it is it is um a very pleasant opening uh, as it dries down after a few minutes um you do get florals mainly florals and i get mainly um iris like this, the the lipsticky aspect of iris not not as much as what you would find in something like dioron iris and particularly tuberose so it's this wonderful heart in this fragrance that that is powdery and creamy at the same time and never never gets too much and as it progresses into the dry down you start to get more of what I would describe as a clean, soft amber. So there's, there's no, there's no dirtiness in this, uh, and and the, the the florals recede very slowly. So I love the way that this fragrance develops in that everything kind of has a slow fade out in the opening, and then when you reach the heart, it, it's not it's not like Oh yeah, that's the opening. There's the middle, and there's the base. Like everything, kind of is blended really well. So it's almost like a really slow crossfade in in a in a movie or a video into each development. Um, so as it dries down, basically you end up with this really nice soft amber, but it is 
solidified by um, a nice natural wood note and I get I get in in the bass um, this this eucalyptus note so eucalyptus is listed and it's one note in this that that does stand out in the bass and and it kind of has this effect of stopping this fragrance from getting too heavy um, again with with some of these ingredients resins and woods um, and and quite heavy florals it it can get heavy and what i love about this fragrance is that there is always this lightness to it and this fragrance when you when you're just wearing it, um, it's a type of fragrance that just smells good, um, but nothing from its its composition or its note pyramid actually comes and stands out to your nose. This is my experience. And only when I've smelled it close uh, for the purposes of this review do I pick up individual notes like the iris or the tuberose or the eucalyptus or the fig the fig leaf when you're just wear, when you're just wearing it like a lot of fragrances it, it, it's a total effect on me and the total effect is this this beautiful um, resinous woody floral fragrance like I said I don't get a lot of citrus and spice um, in this fragrance on my skin other people might have a different experience but the overall effect is just a, a really really beautiful smell and um, and I think it achieves the effect of, of imagine walking into 34 Boulevard Saint Germain and just um, having that whole assault on your olfactory senses but this is done in a very light way almost the effect of walking past that door on the on on the street outside rather than walking in is how is probably more like i would describe this performance this is now this is the edt original edt i believe there's a couple of flankers there's a there's a low flanker um and i haven't tried these ones there's a low flanker which comes in a white cap and they've only just released the oh the parfum version of 34 boulevard saint germain uh, this like i said is consistently in my top five fragrances for the last 12 months my most worn fragrances it's very versatile it's very unisex it's it's definitely one floral uh, you know a fragrance that has quite a lot of florals that men can easily wear and the performance on this for me for this edt original i can get up to quite easily up to six to seven hours just this nice soft projection that i constantly smell wafting up through my shirt and and i i love it and i'm, I'm glad i finally got the chance to review this it's probably not talked about from dip from diptyque um, as much as maybe some other scents but this one is definitely worth checking out 34 boulevard saint germain i'll see you next time